The only thing I hate about this jersey. Am I tripping? That's impossible to hate something so beautiful. Look at it. Or can you? This thing right here has to be arguably one of the best City Edition jerseys they released this year. When I first seen the jersey, it sparked up so many memories for me. I'll let you know how it ties in, but basically, I was in middle school. We had a group of us in the back of French class. We obviously didn't learn French, but we'd listen to old hip hop music. One of those days, my classmate brought an album in called When the Smoke Clears, made by 3-6 Mafia. So when you look at the album cover, you'll see like the text is kind of similar, like the design, how it's kind of chromed out, little diamonds. So that's why it ties into me. And I was like, whoa, that looks so familiar. So this is why it kind of like resonates with me. Enough of that backstory. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a closer look at the jersey so you can see all the little details and I'll break down what little features it has. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, this jersey has no stock. They still have the Swingmans available. The Authentic sold out super quick on the first day within the first hour. So if you're looking for it, hopefully you were able to get one on the release date or maybe it restocks in the future, but you know with Nike, we never know. So when we look at the jersey base, you see it's a black base, but you go to the collar, you can see right here, you got a baby blue trim on the outside with a little bit right here in the middle. So it's like a little sandwich, little gold trim action right there. But right in the middle between the two black lines, you have like a diamond design on the collar that is sublimated, just looks super dope. Like there's a lot of detail put into the collar. You don't normally see that on jerseys. On the arm opening, it's a black band. Then when we go to the Jerry West logo, your standard Jerry West rubberized, he pressed onto the jersey. Then we got John Morant, the lettering and numbering. So the lettering is gonna be baby blue, single stitched, nice and clean. When we go to the numbering, you can see right here, there's a gold gradient on the outside. There's black stitching on the outside as well. And then there's a second layer of stitching as well in the inside. So one right here, one on the outside, right outside the gold trim. There's a gradient change in the gold. There's a little baby blue. And this one is actually sublimated onto the fabric. Well, I mean the twill, it's a diamond design. So you have that on the number two as well. Just look at that. There's a lot of little details on this really dope to see and then bottom right corner you got dry fit advanced when we go to the side panel you can see there's separate polyester pieces right here on the back side and the front side they have that gradient change in colors and then the side panel has Memphis Grizzlies M and G down the side look at intricate design you got all the different colorways it's just beautiful to look at let's go ahead and check out the front Starting off at the collar, pretty much the same design as the back. Has that beautiful diamond design that's sublimated. Some reinforced stitching right in the middle. V-neck collar, arm openings. You got the same style, that black band. And then right here, you got the Nike swoosh, single stitched, baby blue. Pretty much your standard stuff right down here. When we look at the lettering and numbering, you can see Memphis is across the chest. And then the word Grizzlies is framed right above it in baby blue lettering. You can see it also has that diamond design on the Memphis up here. So it has diamonds and it has that kind of gold chromed out look. So this actually draws inspiration from local Memphis hip hop art. So man, just really representing Memphis. That is such a dope look. Let's look at it closer. Gold gradient change, the diamonds, a little bit of baby blue. Kind of gives it that chromed out look. That is clean. And then you got Grizzlies. So unfortunately, this one is actually heat pressed onto the jersey. So that's one kind of disappointment. I would actually want everything to be stitched on. I mean, if you did this stitch, why not this? I mean, can you imagine if this fell off, like you washed it? Let's say it was flimsy to begin with when you got it. Falls off, you got Grizzlies Memphis. But besides nitpicking, numbering down here, pretty much the same style as the back and the lettering. Just beautiful look right there. Woo. And when we go to the jock tag, you got authentic 48 plus two length city edition. And right above it, you got for the M, so for Memphis. So right here, these are all heat pressed. 
got gold, baby blue. You got an M for Memphis, and then you got like bare teeth around here. It is super clean. That is dope. And then you can see on the front side, you can see part of the side panel. And that is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. What I really like about the jersey is they went with the black base and then everything else kind of pop out way more. So like the little diamond design, you got the chromed out gold, and then you got the little hints of baby blue. It really does pop out on the black jersey. I love it because it makes it look really sleek. Left hand side right here, no design there. On the right side, you'll get the Memphis Grizzlies design on the side. And then you got John Morant. Ooh. I feel faster wearing this. Overall, I think it's a really dope design. I like that they went with the hip hop influence. It just give it that chromed out look. If you see the shorts in tandem, like the chromed out bear looks sick. But I love what they did with the collar. You normally don't ever see like really detailed collars. So adding sublimation and little designs on here, adding different colors, the side panel being very like colorful and intricate and using all the colors that it's on the jersey. Whew, I think it flows really well. The only thing I hate about this jersey is how they executed the Grizzlies. Like, you got the authentic version, you might as well stitch this down. Like, there's no point in having this really double stitched and like really detailed. And then you got right here, heat pressed. And don't get me wrong, I have a bunch of Swingman jerseys. I have a bunch of heat pressed stuff. And I have no issues with it. But when it comes to like durability in the long term and like multiple uses, which is gonna break down easier? The heat press or the stitch version? Heat press is more likely to break down first with like long-term use, right? So worst case scenario, you got like a shoddy job of a heat press if you get that. Let's say a couple letters fall off. I mean, it looks terrible. So you might as well just stitch it all the way through and I think that's where they really screwed up. Uh, yeah, that. Gotta do better. It's like they got lazy on that design. They're like, oh, let's put details on everything. Everything detailed. Oh, we, f we should probably put Memphis up there. Let's just keep pressing. But whatever. All right, rant over. But what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And don't get me wrong, I still think it's a beautiful looking jersey. I think it's super dope. I just hated that they did that. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And uh, hey, thanks again for watching, guys. And on to the next video.